Hello everyone, uh, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have square root of m plus square root of minus m equals to 12 and we can find all the values of m here. So the very first step we are going to do is first we need to move this minus m square root to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of m equals to 12 minus minus square root of m. So here first we remove uh, both of these radical signs so in order to remove these radical signs we need to take the squaring on both of the sides so that when we take squaring it will be written as square root of m and its whole square equals to 12 minus square root of minus m and its whole square so here you need to focus in the right hand side and in the right hand side we will use here this nice formula you know that if you have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square according to this formula we will uh, explain or we will expand this identity and in the left hand side we have this 2 is cancelled out by this uh, square root and we get our 5 equals to this is uh, 12 square minus 2 times of a is 12 and b is minus m square root and plus b square so b is minus m square root and its whole square so now in the next step we have this is 12 square equals to 144 minus this is 12 times of 2 becomes 24 into square root of minus m plus these two and square root are gone and we get minus m only so now we move this minus m in the left hand side and it will be written as this is minus m when we move here it will becomes plus m equals to 144 minus 24 times of square root of minus m so because we solve this problem for the values of m so that uh, we add these two values and we get 2 times of m equals to 144 minus 24 times of uh, square root of minus m. So uh, here we will uh, eliminate square root from left hand side but here you see that uh, in the right hand side we have uh, uh, this is square root sign so we will remove this also. First we divide both of the sides by 2 of each of these terms in this way you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here our m is equals to this is 2 10, 2 7 of 14 and 2 2 is a 4 we get 72 minus this is 2 1 is a 2 and 2 2 is a 4 this is 12 times of square root of minus m and now here in the next step uh, we uh, we will just move uh, we just again take the scaling on both of the sides but first we move this m in the right hand side and minus 12 times of square root of minus m in the left hand side so uh, we rewrite this equation as 12 times of square root of minus m we move this term in the left hand side this is negative here it will become positive and we move this plus m in the right hand side it will become negative okay now we are ready to apply the scaling on both of the sides in order to eliminate the square root sign. So we will take scaling on both of the sides in this way. And now here we will uh, separate this square on both of these values. It will be written as 12 square into minus m square root and its whole square equals to. Here we again use the above formula which we can write above here so that according to that formula we write it as 72 square and this is plus m square minus 2 times of 72 into m and now we need uh, here more simplifications uh, so that uh, here this 12 square equals to 144 this 2 and square root are gone and we get minus m equals to here we have this is 72 whole square plus m square this is 2 times of 72 becomes minus 144 times of m 
So now you see that this is also minus 144 times of m. This is also minus 144 times of m. These are two same values on both of the sides so that these are cancelled out by each other. Uh, and uh, we will obtain here only the remaining values are m square plus 72 square equals to 0. So because we solve this problem for the values of m, so we move this plus 72 to the right hand side and it will becomes m square equals to minus times of 72 square. So uh, here in order to find the value of m, we need to take the square root on both of the sides in this way. So we will take the square root on both of the sides. And now in the next step, uh, these two and square root are gone and we get here m equals to here we can separate this square root on this value negative sign and square root of 72 so we write it as 72 whole square and its square root into square root of minus 1 but also you see here we will take this square root on both of the sides so that we will uh, uh, we will write this plus minus sign uh, on any of one side okay so this 2 and square root are also gone and we get here m equals to 72 plus minus 72 times here you have minus 1 square root we know that minus 1 square root equals to iota so this is the final values of m in this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos